What's going on guys, my name is Josh and in today's episode we're going to be doing a little bit more clan uh, clan battles and we're going to be watching the clan uh, face off in a few battles. Now, <clears throat> this is not exactly a collection day prep battle, this is just a normal replay because I am running out of replays in the chat of the clan, but we're just going to be watching some random friendly battles in the clan. So without further ado, let's just hop straight into this video. <clears throat> So we're going to be watching from the perspective of Matt F26. Now Matt F20, F26 looks to be running a little bit of a Pekka Double Prince deck and Astra CDM is going to be running a Giant Minion Rage deck. So <clears throat> Knight's going to be cycled in the back for Matt F with a Dark Prince maybe. <clears throat> Giant does come down in the back for Astra. A Dark Prince does come down in the left lane for Matt F. That's going to charge up and hit that Giant right around in the face. Knight does come down behind Astra as well as the Archers. Archer is going to be put behind the Giant so that they can take down that Dark Prince and the Prince. Minion Lord is going to be splashed down as well to take out that Prince. Princess is going to come down to wipe out that Minion Lord. The Rage does come down but the Rage does virtually nothing. Does not kill the Princess. The Archers barely kill the Princess and that's going to get a little bit of chip damage for Astra. Astra is going to get a tiny bit of chip on the left lane damaging that down to 1911. So Knight's going to be cycled down in the left lane for Matt, and it looks like another Giant's going to come down for Astra, it very well will. That's going to come down in the left lane for Astra, another Dark Prince. It looks like Matt and Astra are going to uh, replay the exact same defense and the same offense. If that's how it's going to play, then Astra is going to win it. But Minions do get taken down well, for Matt. Zap as well, so that is a little, bit of the, a little bit of a different offense by Matt. Doesn't really work out, but... It did kind of get, well, nothing really, but it was a bit of a change up. So Prince is going to charge right into that Knight, taking it all the way down. Knight's going to distract the Wizard so that the Prince can remain at almost full health. It's going to charge up there and it's going to remain, demand a response from Astra. Now the Prince does get a massive charge into that left lane because I think Matt knew 100% that Astra did not have either the Elixir or the cards at his side. Now, he is going to use that Dark Prince, and that's going to charge into the left lane, but the Scar Army does come down to take that down. Zap does come down to finish that off, and the Dark Prince is going to get one, two. Does not get the third, but it does get two shots. Now, he's going to put Matt in the damage in the damage lead, taking taking the tower down to 14-15. Another Prince is going to be cycled in the back for Matt. Another Giant is going to be loaded down for Astra. A Prince and a Knight is going to be charging down the left lane, going to hit that Knight. Another Spark the Freeze comes down to defend. To, to stop that giant and that's going to make the prince lock onto the tower damaging that tower down to what 81 it will take down the tower that was an amazing freeze right there done by matt he throws the giant in the exact specific tile that the prince could not see it and just swipe right pop right past it into the crown tower and that does take it down pekka's going to be dropped right on top of that sparky and that is definitely not what uh, Astra wanted so he's going to spam every every single spammable card in his hand at that bridge and that might take down the tower the knight comes down the princess comes down but that is going to take down the tower and we are going to be heading into over time princess does come down the sparky takes out the princess minions do come down to take down the sparky the prince comes down does take a charge from the sparky and that is going to come down the zap's probably going to come down on the skeleton it very well does the prince is going to stab down this giant until, it's di until it dies another dark prince will probably come down in the back from Matt. No, it does not. Alright, Pekka is going to be loaded down in the right-hand lane for Matt. It looks like he's going to try and get a massive, whelming push into the right-hand lane. Whereas a Knight and a Wizard are going to come down into the King. Defensive Giant comes down from Astra. Now, that Defensive Giant was definitely not the play for Astra because that's a, uh, a Giant. Does, do no, does no damage against the Pekka. Pekka's just going to chop it right down. Minion Lord does come down, but the Princess makes really good work against it. The Prince is going to get taken down by by the skeletons from the skeleton army. Another princess will come down in the right lane to take the skeletons out. Knight and archers are going to come down and they're going to wipe out the princess. And the princess of mats is going to take down the archers and the knight. Dark prince is going to be loaded at the bridge. The giant comes down defensively once again from Astra. Not exactly the play he's looking for, but it is doing a fair amount of the job. Wizard does come down behind the giant. Skarmy in the base of mats. Pekka does come down to wipe out that giant. It definitely well does. 
There is a knight and a wizard, so it looks like he may try and get this massive push that Matt has been looking for in the entire game. Prince, unfortunately, does get taken down from Matt, unfortunately, but the Pekka is going to make short work of that wizard and swipe her right down. The giant is going to take some massive hits by that Pekka. Knight and two princesses locked onto it. That will take it down. Another Pekka offensively in the bridge in front of these two princesses. It looks like Matt is not giving up the pressure. Two princesses are down on the field. It looks like he may freeze this Sparky. He very well does, and that's going to freeze the crowd tower and the Sparky, preventing that charge from hitting the Pekka. Minions in the bridge, followed by these two princesses, and they are splashing in the right-hand side tower. And they are finally locked on. Three princesses locked onto the tower. This is incredible. It looks like he may just win this by princesses. And he very well does. Wow, what a game played by Matt. Those last three princesses at the very end takes down that tower, kills his support, and he had no elixir to defend them. Eventually dropping a Skarmy almost does the job, but it definitely does not finish it. So that was a very strong battle played by Matt. He did not give up the pressure. He always spammed in the bridge, and that's exactly what his deck is pretty much built for. So I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to go and get me down below. Hope you guys did enjoy it.